But we all understand there's more to life than work, eat, sleep, repeat. There is a God. You were all created for a purpose. Every single one of you are important. You don't understand it, but you are. There is such thing called love. You can't see love, but love does exist. And you know it exists. There's such thing as evil. You can't see evil, but you know it exists. And it, and it comes through man. We know there's such thing as demons. Some people suffer with something called sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is a demonic attack. When you see ghosts, you are seeing something spiritual. When you play with Ouija boards, that is something spiritual. There's a lot of things going on the spiritual, but the government want to suppress you. They want to control you through TV, through mind control, through schools. You are all being manipulated daily to shop, to shop, to consume, to consume, to eat more, to sleep more, to work more. But no time for love, no time for the family, no time for each other. Everyone walks away moody and depressed. Like, like we've got nothing, but we have everything. We have the Creator, but we all walk very moody. No one wants to smile to each other. No one wants to speak to each other. We're all consumed on our phones, in front of screens. Being taken away from the truth. The truth that 2018 years ago, Jesus Christ died for our sins so that we may be saved. And people think this is a joke. This is far from a joke. This is serious. We are living in the end times. With these earthquakes every day, people are dying by the thousands every day. Children are starving to death every day. And we ignore it. Shut up. These children are starving. And no one wants to speak about it. All we want to speak about is money. Things that mean nothing in this world. We're concentrated on the evil things of this world. Pride. Concentrating on drink and alcohol and drugs things that destroy our lives, but we can be saved. Anyone of you can be saved today. There's a future for anyone. There's hope for anyone. Even if you're depressed, he brings joy. Even when you lose a family member, he brings joy. But we are controlled and suppressed. Everybody's suffering with anxiety because we all feel that there's a need to hit this certain standard in life. But when you become a Christian, you realise material things mean nothing. And you give your trust to God. And even if you've got to stand in the rain and preach to people, love, to love each other. Because no one loves anymore. Everybody hates. There's wars going on. Constant wars. Yet you trust the government to give you your science. Yet the Christian says, well the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. Yet the Christian scene does mental and crazy for saying lying's evil, for saying stealing's evil, for saying war is evil. We are called crazy. Yet it's the government that are causing wars, the government that are lying, the government that are allowing children to starve to death. And you look to them to educate you. Yet they educate you with a lie to keep you dumbed down and suppressed because they're Satanists and they want to keep you away from God who brings joy, who brings love, who brings peace. The one day of the year, Christmas Day, that everybody loves, realistically, is done in the name of Jesus. The one day, the best day of the year, that children look forward to, done in the name of Jesus, every day should be like Christmas. And I know I'm not, I'm not talking about gift giving, I'm talking about loving your neighbour, loving your family, treating each other with respect, smiling at each other, not just one day a year, all days. And that's what God is all about, bringing the kingdom of heaven down to this earth. So that we can rejoice and love each other. No racism, no hate, no pride, no ego. Just selflessness. People helping each other, feeding each other. Preaching in the rain that your souls may be saved. You know? It might be raining now, but would you be stopping and watching if it wasn't? I praise God even in the rain. Do you know why? Because we need rain for food. Without rain, we have no food. So this is a blessing. You look at it as, oh, it's raining, it's a curse. But reality is, we need rain for food. So this is a blessing. In some countries, they don't get rain. They don't get food. We do, we are blessed. But as we turn our backs on God, everything evil comes on the rise. Suicide on the rise. Alcohol on the rise. Alcoholics on the rise. Drunks, drugs, everything evil on the rise. Hate, divorce on the rise. 
families turning against each other. Brother against brother, sister against sister, neighbor against neighbor. Hate, hate. But God teaches us to love, to love, to smile. Smile at each other. Every day of the year. Every day of the year. Smile. Show each other love. Tell your family you love them. Tell your children you love them. Speak life. There is power in the tongue. You can put someone down just by saying one word. They can be so depressed they can kill themselves. Or you can say something nice and actually stop someone killing themselves. All because of one word. How are you doing? Are you good? You know? Are you okay? Have a good day. Just mind your things to cheer people up. You know, people want to put each other down. They want to put their mates down. They call it banter, but realistically, it's just putting people down. There's no love. There's no love, it's just pure hate, jealousy, and envy. And that's where the evil comes from, Satan. And it's coming from your government. You don't even understand. The police are fining people for next to nothing. But the paedophiles, they get three months in jail. Yet someone who's doing something good gets deemed, gets deemed as evil. There is a time coming where Jesus will judge every single one of us by our actions and by our words.